Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Manya and I have lost 26 pounds on the WW Purple Plan. Today is Weigh In Wednesday and what I eat in a day. So if that interests you, stick around. We're getting into it right now. Welcome back to Living Fully with Manya. Now, as you all know, I've been on the WW Purple Plan since mid-May of 2020. Today is January 20th of 2021. What I'm gonna show you today is everything that I ate today, and then at the end, I'll tell you how I weighed in this week. So if you wanna skip all the food, it's totally cool and fine with me, I'll have some timestamps below and you can just click right to the end and I'll tell you how I weighed in. So without further ado, let's get into breakfast. Welcome to breakfast. Today I'm gonna to be eating some oatmeal. So I went ahead and made half a cup of the old fashioned oats and then one cup of this pea protein milk. I would not buy this again, so I'm not recommending it. It's uh, double the number of points of unsweetened almond milk, which is what I normally use. So that's kind of a bummer. So it's two points for one cup of, of this. And then into my lovely oatmeal, I'm going to drop a quarter teaspoon of sugar. So, uh, sounds like not very much, but it is zero points to do it that way and it just gives a little bit of sweetness. I have this burnt sugar orange spice coffee sugar, which, um, I won't rebuy, but it's kind of fun to work my way through it with my oatmeal. I have sliced peaches that are frozen, so I cut those up a couple minutes ago to give them a little bit of time to thaw. And then I have one banana chopped up. So this is going to be a full of fruit. There's a lot of fruit going into this. This will be pretty filling. Now, if you're new to my channel, I am a hungry person. <laughs> so for some of you, this is gonna look like an incredible amount of food. For me, it's actually not that much food. I'll be full for maybe two hours and then I'll need a snack. And then lastly, I'm gonna add pumpkin pie spice 
to this and a little salt. Um, normally I do cinnamon, but you know, we all purchase a bunch of pumpkin pie spice over the holidays and so I'm just trying to use it up. And then once I have two hands, I'll put a little salt and we'll be good to go. I'll see you for a snack. All right, everyone, here's my morning snack. Red seedless grapes, a dollop of fat-free Greek yogurt on top. That's a quarter teaspoon of turmeric and some black pepper. If you're not on the turmeric tip yet, it is really good for reducing inflammation as well as, um, well, it's good for reducing inflammation. And then the black pepper helps with absorption of the turmeric into your bloodstream. So you don't ever wanna have turmeric without cracked black pepper. So that is my zero point morning snack. And that is smudge. Before I get into lunch and what I'm eating today, I wanted to take a brief pause and talk about hydration when you exercise. Don't worry, this isn't sponsored. None has never heard of me. None? Noon? I don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, but one thing I wanted to say is that um, counting this sort of thing in smart points is a personal decision. I see a lot of questions about whether to count the points for gummy vitamins, that sort of thing. And if you're asking me, I say, no, I don't count points for my vitamins and I don't count points for nutrition uh, electrolyte supplement powders. I just, I figure it's not really worth it. This technically scans in at one point because it has real sugar in it. There are alternatives that use non regular sugar. <laughs> what do you call it? Replacement sugars like monk fruit and stevia and those scan in at zero points. I, I just, I don't worry about it too much. I'm getting on my uh, Peloton bike. Can you see it there? There it is in the background. I'm sweating my butt off. I'm not going to worry about a one point electrolyte. All right, it's lunchtime. This is going to be my zero point lunch with a caveat. So today I am just using some leftovers to make myself a bowl. I'm about to probably in an hour once I digest this a little bit, I'm going to go ride a ride on my Peloton. So I wanted to have some good healthy carbohydrates to keep me going. So what you see on this side on the right hand side, those are cooked sweet potatoes just cooked in the microwave and then sliced. That's it, I always have some cooked potatoes in my refrigerator. This is cooked farro, again, I think I cooked it in some vegetable broth, but it doesn't have anything on it. And then this is a mix of green beans, oh, I'm fogging up the lens there, green beans, the tops of beets, some red onion, and I think some garlic, salt, and pepper, and then that's it. So on top, I'm going to put some pickled beet stems. So I have the beet greens here, I have the beets themselves in my fridge, and these are pickled beet stems. In order to pickle, you pretty much always have to add some kind of sugar component. So there's a small possibility that these have points. I am not going to count points on this, I just don't think it's necessary especially since I'm only going to put about a teaspoon on top. They're vinegary and delicious, and I don't need a sauce when I have something like this. And then as per usual, I will be putting nutritional yeast on top of this dish. And because I live in Texas, and I believe it's state law, that you must drink at least one Topo Chico a day, I will be drinking this with my lunch. So I did a 45 minute ride on my Peloton and I showered and in just a few minutes I have to take my very old cat to the vet. So I am going to have a little snack and I thought I would show you that snack. What I have here are three Milton's whole wheat crackers. I think I got those at Costco. Little 
WW tip that I have learned, don't get the crackers that you love thinking that you're gonna limit what you eat. Get the crackers you don't love <laughs> if you're a cracker person like me. These are fine, they're not great, and for that reason it's easy for me to limit myself. I can eat a whole box of crackers. Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge. So these are uh, two points for three, one point for the Laughing Cow, and then for something a little sweet, these are the Lily's Milk Chocolate Chips with Stevia. I have, I believe, 18 chips for one point. Okay, so what do we have here? Roasted Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, and cauliflower from a bag. What do you think about these? They're fine. Yeah. That's all right. Good. And then this is mushrooms, collard greens, cooked in a little soy sauce with some red onion. And then over here are some potato wedges. We will each get two of those. I am really more of an ingredient cook. I'm not sure I make a lot of dishes. I just make a lot of ingredients and then everyone gets to season it the way that they want. But we are super vegetable heavy today, are we not? It's good for us. All right, that's everything that I ate today. And one thing I wanna tell you guys is that I don't just eat like that on way in Wednesday so I can tell you I eat like that. That is actually how I eat all the time. And this is one thing that I love about the WW Purple Plan is you can eat whole unprocessed foods to abundance. I mean, do I look like I'm going hungry? Sometimes I watch other YouTubers what I eat in a day videos and they're just full of processed snacks and prepared frozen meals and there's very little vegetables, lots of fruit. Fruit is great, has sugar, but very few vegetables, very, very few leafy greens. And I just think, man, I'd be hungry all the time and I'd feel depleted. I think I would have low energy. I would just want to eat. Like it, it fires off that snacking stuff in my brain. Someone yesterday eating a four point bag of Cheetos, like a little mini, I think it was maybe a low fat Cheetos or something like that. I mean, that sounds amazing. I love Cheetos. They're so good. I haven't had them in a while, but they are, I have a memory of them being really good but they just like fire off that stuff in your brain that makes you wanna go back for more and more and more and more. So I'm not sure that if a little mini bag would suffice and then the next day I'd wanna do it again and then I'd want more and um, sounds like an addiction, doesn't it? Again, I'm not a doctor. I don't know what I'm talking about. I can only speak from my own personal experience and what I know is that eating whole, unprocessed carbohydrates like potatoes and brown rice and eating lentils and legumes and all of that helps keep me satisfied. It keeps me alert and awake and I sleep well and I exercise well and it's been revelatory for me. So, way in Wednesday. As a reminder, I started in mid-May of 2020 and my weigh in, my starting weight was 163.2. Two. Today, January 20th of 2021, I weighed in at 136.2, which is 1.4 pounds lost from the week before. If you watched last week's video, you know for me to lose a pound and a half in a week is insane. For me to lose a pound and a half two weeks in a row is unbelievable. Um, I would say I don't know what I'm doing, but I actually do. I have a friend, shout out to her if she's watching, who decided to take control of her food and her eating uh, at the beginning of the year. And we together have been doing something called the 50-50 plan. Now, we're not being as strict as the 50-50 plan dictates, but I don't really care. Change in any kind is good. This comes from uh, a doctor named John McDougall. I've recommended the starch solution book before. I'll put a link down in the comment or in the description box. 
It's just, uh, he believes very strongly that all you really need to eat are starches, potatoes, brown rice, whole wheat pasta, etc. But if you want to do maximum weight loss, there's something called a 50-50 plate, which is 50% of your plate are those starchy, vet, starchy starches, <laughs> and then the other 50 are non-starchy vegetables. So you'll see over this month that a lot of my plates mimic that 50-50 plan. Not entirely, I'm still eating oatmeal with fruit, I'm, but when I do my tofu scramble, it's 50-50, that kind of thing. And so to support my friend, I have been uh, eating more 50-50 plate and the pounds are coming off in a way that they weren't before when I was eating mostly starches. So that's interesting. This week has been good. Uh, that's about all I have. It's just another week down on the WW Purple Plan. I hope that you find these videos helpful. Check out my Purple Plan basic series if you want to learn more about WW Purple and let me know what content you'd like to see out there. It's not a lot of Purple Plan content on YouTube so I need you, my community, to tell me what you want me to talk about. And with that, Good luck with your journey. Together, we can do this.